This is a full screener right here, no chat on screen. This is the official microsite just launched for GMS. And of course you guys just saw my video yesterday. Um, seems like they <laughs> didn't want me to beat them with too much of the information, so they put out the official microsite right after it to make sure to undercut my, <laughs> never mind. Um, so apparently there is free stuff that you can get and they have now, one day after I said it was not yet official that it was June 15th, it is now official. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, with the revamp of the Explorer jobs, special event and special Destiny pre-registration package that you can claim now. So get to the microsite and claim it. I'll put a link in the description for the microsite. So there's gonna be a bunch of free stuff here. It seems like we, uh, Maybe some pets. Get loaded up for Destiny update with a special gift package filled with goodies. Sign up before 11 a.m. PDT on Monday, June 13th and receive the Little Symphony Pets, Angelic Alphabet Damage Skin, and the Wealth of Melody Coins, the Magician of the Sacred Forest Outfit, and more when the Destiny update arrives on, when, on Wednesday, June 15th. So yeah, it's a pre-registration registration package, but you can only get the gifts when it goes live, apparently. <laughs> Um, and then here it says Explore Revamp arrives on June 15, so confirmed for the first part of the update. That's good to know as well. Uh, Explorers are original class of Maple Story, they definitely are. That's why they were revamped um, first, way back in red, and then not why they're re revamped now first as the part of the new batch again. Starting at a simple beginner, you can select your own path through 14 different possible jobs across all five types of Maple Story characters. They've been the backbone of MapleStory for the last 17 years. And with the Destiny update, all 14 Explorer jobs will be revamped. Um, I'm thinking 14. Are they are they not counting Cannoneers or Pathfinders? Which one are they not counting? Oh, they're not counting Pathfinders. It's still a little weird because you can open job advancement between them, but okay. I guess technically, is the, isn't the Pathfinder as separate as the Cannoneer is? It's a different area, but it's within Victoria, and you can open job between the other ones. I don't know. Whatever. Um, cool, cool, cool. Like for 17 years, and with the Destiny update, all 14 will be revamped. The revamp includes improved skills, better animations. So we've gone through all of it. Uh, I've got a huge playlist on all of the changes coming in Destiny. If you want to see them, when all of them were coming out in Korea, we went through all of it. But um, massive, massive amounts of stuff, of course. Uh, we've worked hard to make sure that the changes won't confuse Maplers with Explorer characters, and you have plenty to play with and explore <laughs> with this refresh of Maple Story's oldest class of heroes. And uh, won't confuse Maplers. The main thing there is that what they talked about is their main goal was to make sure that the theme of the characters became more clear and that they got their own specific identity and not really overlapping into others. Uh, with that, the Buccaneer actually moved, I think, a lot into the theme of the Thunderbreakers, so it's going to be interesting how they're going to reconcile that. And the Paladin, I feel, also color-wise, went really, really hard into the Mihail area. So I'm going to be interested to see in June 11th and June 12th, when all of the stuff comes out in Korea for the revamp of the Cygnus Knights, how they're going to kind of restructure, reorganize... Uh, redo those skills and those classes to make sure that they do remain separate from the other classes. So that might be interesting to see. They put a Pathfinder on top of the page. Oh yeah, they squeezed in the Pathfinder here, yeah. Pathfinder is an explorer though, and it is it did get reworked. But then they put 14 here. Yeah, I don't know. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. There's a an imposter Amogus right here. <laughs> Imp <laughs> um, yeah, so you can click all the characters here, and it'll be a little bit of an example on like how the Raging Blow will look different, how the Burning Soul Blade is gonna look different. Just a little excerpt of of all of upcoming changes, but there's way more than this stuff, you know. The Smite Shield is a huge, huge skill. Look at that thing. They have to zoom out quite far to make sure that the whole thing would fit in on the screen. Not gonna make the joke. This is for a YouTube video. Um, Bishop gonna look quite different. Double Angels of Balance, Giant Bahamut, 
Corrupted Blood, Final Damage Boost. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on. And you can, of course, check all of these out in your uh, in your own time. Marksman skill is going to look quite weird. <laughs> Not what we're used to, but, you know, most of the time you're playing with mass uh, skill invisibility anyway to see the fight. So a lot of the stuff will... I mean, it's cool to check it out in the beginning, but a lot of this stuff is probably not going to be visible for much of the boss fight. Corsair has got their new summons and their big explosions. Gonna be quite interesting, gonna change quite a bit. And Kananir with their little extra bullet. Uh, the main thing I'm interested with this is whether or not we are getting just the Destiny update to the skills or if they might even include the changes that Korea did right after Destiny. So I'm guessing probably not, but if you look at the scheduled release about one month after Destiny, a bunch of the skills already changed in Korea. And since skill changes and stuff like that, we're usually about four and a half months behind and for anniversary, uh, so on season updates like these, we're usually six months behind. That would mean that they would actually coincide when it comes to the release of the skills. And you know, since those skills came so quickly in Korea, it's obvious that they wanted them to change that quickly and that maybe the Destiny changes weren't, you know, exactly where they wanted them to be. So it might make more sense that we just get the definitive changes, quote unquote, um, immediately. I'm guessing we probably won't, but we'll wait and see and we'll check with the numbers and everything once the actual patch notes come out. Um, and then we will be able to see whether we get the final, final results um, of after Destiny in Korea, or if we're just getting what was in Destiny. We'll have to see the confirm for that. Um, enjoy better Maple with the improvements. That's also coming right on June 15th. So the Mastery Book Removal, which I talked about yesterday, New Boss Difficulties, which I talked about yesterday, and the Dawn Boss Pieces, which I also talked about yesterday. Specifically talked about the face accessory, because the other ones, uh, and, and you know, the ring already exists, because the other ones seem to be taking up slots of the... Um, Superior Gallic set, which of course for most people is not going to be a feasible switch for a long, long time. So yeah. He's not checking dual blade, no comedy in the video. Oh yeah, we need to see all of the dual blade changes. Um Okay, so here's what happened. Um, there was a flashbang animation, but because it was so bright, the person was blinded, and while they were blinded, they clicked the wrong GIF to add to the website. And that's why they accidentally added the raging blow again, is, is what happened, clearly. Clearly, that's, that's what happened over there. Um, and then coming July 20th, Destiny Homecoming, so that's the little, um, little housing uh, thing, right? Or is that a different... Is that what this... What, what is... This is the weirdest looking wolf I've seen. Join us in July with the second part of Destiny update arrives. So that should be like the second Terrible in there. Um, return to Hotel Arcus and continue the story as you build up your showdown against the Watcher Kalos, which I talked about yesterday as well. The giant doggo with the insane sacred power requirements to do good damage on. Then head on back and rest your head on your very own home, a new space for you to decorate, plan your next moves, and share with your fellow Maplers. So you get to build up your own um, your own little house, you get to decorate it, and I believe there's some kind of buff system linked to it as well. So depending on what you pick and what you put in your house and whatever goes in, then you might get some, um, some buffs for your entire account. Almost kind of like, I think on the level of like an extra solid link skill, if I remember it correctly. But I'm pretty sure Steve had a video on the whole thing on how it all worked. Um, so if we get it exactly the same as that, then um, there might be a little bit of power creep coming with that as well. But I think it's mainly like paying an X to make the house look cool, if I remember it correctly. I can have a Maple GF in my home. I, I think the girl not included on the bed, if I had to guess. <coughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what the uh, website looks like, but make sure you get to registering. And we have the official date, and we have um, the new flashbang animation for Dual Blade, very important. And um, do we need to check all the other ones now to make sure that there isn't anything that I missed? I clicked that one. Did I click this one? Yeah. Ice Lightning. 
Okay. Elkinus is just stomping the ground. Cool. And then we're going to have Ifrit also stomping the ground. Creeping Toxin. Toxic Creeper Prison. Um, I think I clicked all the other ones except for this. Oh, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, oh, I, I skipped over this one. Symphony events. Also starting June 15th. Uh, time for summer music and majesty bunch of mini games there's like some um some star sign stuff where you have to there's going to be one of those um i guess as a last thing i'll mention here there's like uh, one of those little pqs again that you'll have a limit of like two times a day but that gives a whole lot of experience including on characters past level 200 the ones that you guys really like to get characters from 200 to 210 without having to fund them but still being able to get those level three link skills so that's going to be another nice thing for people to uh, to use and to capitalize on. They do hammer home those 14 quite a bit when there's 15 in the picture. <laughs> okay, so not quite a uh, not quite a Steve tier microsite, but still quite nice, I would say. DA will finally be 210. Okay, you're gonna play DA after the changes, and you're not gonna get to 210. You're gonna go all the way to like 250 on it. Trust, okay, trust. We're playable. Give us a chance. All right, so that's the uh, new microsite. I'll put all of the links to relevant stuff in the description, and then you can find all of it there. And make sure you go and register. And if you haven't checked my video from yesterday, make sure you check it because it has way more details than this. This is like a teaser. And my video yesterday has way more details on all the stuff that's coming in Destiny. So um, get prepared, get excited. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the update. Okay, thanks for watching.